It's cold, it's dark, I've had a feeling. Let's go. Welcome data enthusiasts to this week's episode of the Data Science Dossier Podcast. I'm your host Tom and today we're diving into some of the thrilling developments in the data world. From the latest in ETL tooling to job resources and a peek into Kubernetes, we've got lots to cover. So let's get started. First up, let's talk about Apache Hop. You might know it as the successor to Pentaho Data Integration Project, but it's so much more. Apache Hop stands out as a user-friendly open source ETL tool. It's not just me saying it, even ChatGPT agrees, go and read the newsletter if you don't believe me, calling it a beacon of innovation. And honestly, they're not wrong. With its versatility and ease of use, Apache Hop is changing the game for data professionals. If you're new to ETL or looking to streamline your data processes, Apache Hop is definitely worth a look. Moving on, now onto something a bit different, jobs. Now, I know the current market concerns, especially for my friends in the UK, I've got some resources for those seeking data related positions and it's not all inclusive, I don't have a huge list, but some that do pop to mind, I'll put them on the screen here. First, there's onlydatajobs.com, a fantastic site full of UK and EU based data jobs. Then check out deltav.tech, a talent agency up in Scotland, specialising in placing data professionals. Remember, these aren't sponsored, they're just good resources that I wanted to share and as I come across more, I'll be sure to let you know in our future episodes. Now on to our community news time. A big shout out to Datavine for their Apache Hop Fundamentals training course. The first run, which has just gone, just happening now, was the smash hit and they're gearing up for round two. So if you're looking to master Apache Hop, this course is a must. Also for the data table, sorry, delta table users out there wondering about replace where for selective overwrites, the delta blog has just what you need. And don't forget to follow Ryan for his insights on multi-cloud data sharing because that's a game changer for larger projects and organizations. Speaking of events, if you're in New York on February the 6th, check out the Chill Data Summit hosted by Upsolver. They're showcasing a range of iceberg related tooling and products with experts from Snowflake, Dremio, Starburst and more. It's free, so if you're in the area, just don't miss out. It's a cool opportunity to network with other like-minded individuals and to learn a thing or two whilst you are there. Now, let's switch gears to something a bit more technical but incredibly relevant. Have you heard about indirect prompt attacks for LLMs? I stumbled upon an interesting read from Wired and it's, it's about this topic. It's not a brand new blog post, but it's definitely worth going to have a read. It's not an easy fix, but it's a crucial aspect of understanding the security and reliability of language models in today's data-driven world. Think SQL attacks for LLMs. And for our European listeners, there's some good news from Microsoft. They've updated their cloud services to ensure EU data stays within the EU. This is a significant move for data protection and privacy, aligning with the blocks regulations, GDPR and all that fun stuff. So to wrap up these, these well, today's Tuesday, these Tuesday podcasts are supposed to be quick and concise. So to wrap up, we're going to delve into the world of Kubernetes. Our latest blog post over on spicule.co.uk explores whether Kubernetes is the right tool for your tech needs. It's a game changer in handling containerized applications, in enhancing scalability and ensuring robust security. But as with any technology, it has its challenges. The learning curve and alignment with your project needs are crucial factors to consider. So don't miss out our in-depth analysis on the blog. It's a must read for anyone in the tech sphere looking to stay ahead of the curve. So 
That's it for today's episode of the Data Science Dossier Podcast. This is like a video, a bite-sized version of the newsletter we, we send out and also contains elements of what's going on on our website and elsewhere in the data sphere. As these get further in, I'll probably tweak the format a bit, but feedback as ever is welcome. So thank you for tuning in. I hope you found these insights helpful and in some way inspiring. Don't forget to check out the resources mentioned in today's episode. They're all linked down below. And join us next time for more interesting developments in the world of data science. Until then, keep exploring, learning and innovating. And I'm off to ice my filling because my mouth is still numb. Adios.